This pod contains strong language and sexual references from the outset and throughout. We've had a 12 week scan and I was a bit emotional when I seen the scan because obviously the baby was moving around and stuff and it's mad to think that obviously I've produced that so yeah, it was, it was, it was nice. I just can't wait for the, the further ones on to see how he or she has grown. The baby's going to have the cot next to us in our bed so I can just turn around like this and then a nursery. Yo. <laughs> because otherwise you won't be going back and forth to feed. I think Aaron will be a great dad um, for the new baby. I think newborn stage is going to be very difficult for him. Not difficult, but different, because obviously he came into Sienna's life when she was about three. So Sienna was past the baby stage. She still had a dummy, which he made me get rid of. <laughs> so I know he's going to be strict. I've just found a clear blue fertility test. <laughs> <laughs> that was Emma. She sent me it. <laughs> so that's how it happened so quick. <laughs> yeah, of course. She fell pregnant with Gary within the first month with that machine. Well, I was thinking because all of a sudden, it was, you were trying for ages, and all of a sudden it was like, I'm pregnant. Yeah, you wheel on this stick and it tells you when you're ovulating. And well, he, I think you should give her that back because I'm not having what Kaz and Emma's went through and having another one within months. I don't fucking think so. Though. <laughs> okay, we need no. Bigger house first. So how long are you talking about then? Like maybe like a year, and then we start again. And then obviously we're pregnant for nine months, so it'll probably be like two. No, years. we aren't. We aren't. No, pregnant. we are. No, you are. We are. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Remember, you're 32. You're 33 next year. Doesn't that bother me? And I'm all. 26 next year. I want to try and get it all out of the way before I'm 30. Let's just see after the baby comes, eh? You might change your mind. I might change my mind. No, you will. I already have. Fuck <laughs> oh, off. <laughs> I already have. Oh my god, Holly, this is oh. I want my house to just be like a palace. Like right. I just want it to be beautiful. I'm not crushed velvet anymore. Are you not crushed velvet? Me and Holly have been friends since day one of Geordie Shaw. We've been through so much together. I might not have seen her lately because she has moved away from home and I miss her so much. But when we are together, it's like we're never ever been apart. I feel like our lives just change so quickly in such a short space yeah, of time. Yeah, I agree. Like you're in a like completely different stage of your life now different than you were a few weeks life. ago. Not just that, like all of us. Yeah. Like you're planning your engagement party now. I know. I can't even bear to think about the wedding. I can't bear. I'm getting so stressed about it. Like that's a big thing, Holly. You're going literally. You're going to walk down the aisle. Physical marriage. How old are you going to be when you walk down the aisle? Um, so I'm 27 now. I'll be just before my 29th birthday. <laughs> And then on the honeymoon, we're going to start trying for the child. So ne nearly 30. It's so weird because when we were all single and going out and partying, Sophie was always the one who was in a relationship. So now the tables have turned and we're all settled down and she's the one who's 30, flirty and single. This year has just been, oh, it's been mad for us. Like, start of the year, I was in the best place ever. I was with someone and I was like, this is it. Like, I'm going to marry him. He's going to propose to us. Mm. I thought he was going to propose on me 30th. You did, you are telling us. So, like, that breakup was brutal. I just never thought in a million years that my relationship would end. It did really make us doubt myself. And I just, like, sort of think every day, what's wrong with us? Like, why, why wouldn't a lad want to be with us? Like, I've seen all you go through breakups, all the other girls, and I never thought, like, I'd go through that yeah. as well. Because you remember how ill you all went through? You were all ill all the time, like yeah. crying, upset. You didn't know what to do with yourselves. Yeah. And like that. We've time all been me. through those types of breakups, which are just horrendous. Horrendous, like the pain. Like it did just pain. seem like the one, though, and he slotted in so well with like with everyone. our friends and with like other lads yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I know. So it did seem. Not like... only that, like his family, my family, we yeah. were all so close. And then just one day, like you know yourself, one day there was an argument and he just cut off. I do feel really bad for Sophie because recently she's gone through such a hard time and I know that it really got to her. But she needs to realise that we are all there for her and she doesn't need to worry just because she's turning 30, she still has time to fall in love. Who would have thought that? I know. I'm 30 and you're younger than me and you're more settled. I know, but it just happens. All I want right now is exactly what the other girls have got. Like, all the other girls are settling down and just seem so happy. I mean, is that just too much to ask for?
Hey guys, it's Marnie here. If you want more Jodie OJ videos like this one, then don't forget to like and subscribe now. What are you waiting for?